Florentine and liquid fill. These features are in the curved fills element and if installed on your system will be found in the stitch effects toolbar. Florentine fill places a single stitch angle baseline on an object and liquid fill allows two baselines. The effects can be applied to objects created with column A, column B, complex fill and complex turning in the traditional toolbar and closed shapes, digitized column, rectangle, ellipse, basic shapes or the freehand closed object tool in the graphics toolbar. These effects can only be applied to tatami or motive fills. They can be created while digitizing the object or applied later. So let's get started. As an example, I'll use the complex fill tool, select tatami fill and the Florentine icon. Keep an eye on the prompt toolbar, but really the process is the same as producing a normal complex fill object. Until you get to the stitch angle prompt, instead of digitizing two points for a straight angle line, you can digitize multiple points and complete the baseline with an enter. The reshape tool will display the baseline and it can be manipulated with the nodes like any object. Remember, the object needs to be stitched, so do not make the angles or curves too severe. The liquid fill process is similar, but you digitize two lines. The important thing to remember here is that neither line can cross the object you're applying the effect to. Click the first angle, then enter, followed by the second angle line, then enter once again. To view and edit the line, use the reshape tool. Again, remember if the shape you create is too severe, the baseline will default. To apply the effects after an object has been created, check that the fill is either tatami or motive fill and select either Florentine or liquid icons and the default baselines will appear which you can manipulate to suit the design. 